Hey guys, how's it going today? Today I've got a fun little video over here. This is going to be on my Droid Razer HD or Droid Razer HD Max. It doesn't matter. It's basically the same phone. And we're going to show you guys how to install Saijin Mod on this device right here. Haven't done any videos on this for a while. Gave it actually to my brother for a while. He had this thing and he was running it. So now we're going to go ahead and get back into some videos on it. Um, like I said, we do have CM11 on this, Saijin Mod 11, which is for uh, basically it's KitKat is what it is and we're gonna go through it so first thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and show you what I'm running right now this is totally stock um, and it's on Android 4.1.2 build is well actually let's see what do I want to show you actually it's probably system version is what I want to show you which is um, 9.20.1 XT926 that's that's the Droid Razer HD XT926 all right um, so prerequisites on this are going to be you need to have an unlocked bootloader. Unlocked bootloader basically if you're on a new device and you have the newest OTA updates you can't get it. So if you had it you have it. If you don't you're basically kind of stuck with safe strap. So this is not going to be for you. But if you have that unlocked bootloader then we can do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to have the unlocked bootloader. You're going to have the custom recovery and you want to update to the latest torp recovery or clockwork mod recovery. Either way, you got to get those on there. The same way you flash recovery in the first place on your device, if it's unlocked, is exactly how you're going to flash a new one. And I'll give you guys links to the new one in my video description down below, along with links to CM11 and everything you guys are need, just like always. So what we're going to do um, is go ahead and I would download your uh, CM11 and Google applications to your external SD card. You can do it to internal, but I would download to external. Here's mine right here, you see them 11 right there, you can see. This is from D-Hacker, this guy, love him, great, awesome dev, especially Motorola devices, he stays on top of these things really, really well. Big props to him. Here's some uh, Google applications, they are the KitKat version, and again, you'll have all the links. So, this is what we're going to go ahead and do, and we're going to get into recovery. So if you have an application, you can do an application that can do like reboot to recovery. That's fine if you have something like that in your phone. But if you don't, we're going to do it the old-fashioned manual way. And to do that, you're going to go ahead and power off your device. Power off. And this is good to know because if you ever have anything go wrong with your device and you get it stuck in a boot loop, maybe this ROM I'm installing right now doesn't install, or whatever, you can always get back into your device and, and repair it and restore it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to hold volume up and down at the same time. Then we're going to hold power and we're going to count to one, two, three. Let go of them all. And then, before this thing boots, we're going to scroll down and scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Just keep scrolling because I don't want it to reboot right now. And you want to scroll to recovery and then you want to hit volume up. And volume up is your select button. So, that should boot you into recovery. So, power is not your select button. It is scroll with volume down and select is volume up so here is torp recovery or team one recovery project i'm going to show you my latest version that i've got downloaded here is uh, also from d hacker and it is version 2.6.3.0 you need to be on this version or else um cm11 anything kit kat will not function correctly so it's very important that you get your recovery update to this or the newest uh, clockwork mod recovery so from here, first thing you want to do is go to backups, select everything, and go ahead and uh, see internal. I, I don't want internal, I want external or micro SD. Okay, and this is going to make a backup on my external SD card. Make sure you have plenty of space. I got an 8 gig card. It's pretty much clean right now, so you should have plenty of space. So first thing you do, go ahead, let this run. When it's done, we will go ahead and uh, show you how to install Seam 11 on this device. All right, here you go. Backup is completed. It says reboot system. We're not going to do that. We're just going to hit the back button, and we're going to back out of this screen also, and we're back to our main screen. You can also hit the home button. I just always use the back button, just what I do. Um, and then if you ever want to restore this, so, for example, we install this ROM, something goes wrong, you're stuck in a boot loop, the thing will not power up, it won't go into CM11 Saijin mod, you would come in here the exact same way we did by powering off and holding the button combinations and getting into recovery 
and then you'll just go to restore and there's the backup I just made and you just click on that it restores the backup boom you're running exactly how you were when you made the backup all your apps files everything's restored really really sweet it's always good to make a backup first other thing I want to show you guys just really quick this is going to be a bonus right here any Motorola device that has an internal battery that's permanent if your phone locks up you can't pull the battery to kill the thing so how you do it is you hold your power and volume down and keep holding them till the device reboots that's a hard reset for any Motorola device with an internal battery uh, that doesn't come out so that's just a key pointer this device has one it's a good thing to know um, if you uh, have any issues with your device locking up or freezing bonus right there bonus for you so we're gonna go ahead and go into wipes it's the first thing we're gonna do and we're just gonna do a standard wipe so just slide across this wipes data wipes uh, cache and um, wipes delvet cache so we'll go back we'll go back again and we're gonna go to installs and you gotta find where your ROM is located mine's in the CM11 folder yours might be in downloads I don't know wherever you copy to your device this is a file browser so you can go up a level and move around in it it's very simple so we're just gonna select CM11 select the uh, zip make sure it's listed it is CM11 right there this is unofficial so it's not strictly from SciGenMod, it's actually done by dhacker and he does a great job of maintaining it so it should be really really functional it's just not officially from SciGenMod. so then we're going to go to add a zip and pick on the gaps kitkat and make sure it's listed it is it says two of ten max and uh, we'll go ahead and swipe across and this should uh, flash flash the rom over there we go so installing this is probably going to take a couple minutes um, we'll let it install and we'll come back to it. Okay, there we go. That's going to wrap up our install of CM11. So you can go back if you want and look at Kick Home or whatever and look at the rest of the recovery if you want to. But from here, you just got to hit uh, Reboot System. And this will uh, boot us into SciGem11. You'd have the Motorola logo at the beginning. Normally, you'd have this Unlock logo possibly there, but I've removed it off this device. So little sneaky but like I said it does require the unlock bootloader um, so if you were able to get that done when that was released a while back I mean, almost a year ago now um, obviously this is an option for you if you have a safe strap this will not function on safe strap but there we go there is the side Jamad boot animation super sweet first boot up it's gonna take a couple minutes um, if it takes more than 10 go ahead and go back into recovery restore your Android backup and you'll be back and running 100% and then you figure out maybe you had a bad download or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to let this boot and I'll go through some setup and then we'll show you guys around. All right, I'm almost done going through the settings here, but I just want to show you guys this right here. This does come with two different launchers. You can have the standard trebuchet launcher, which is basically what comes with Sidejamon. has come with it for a long time. Or you can have the Google Experience Launcher or Slash Launcher 3, I think is the other name I've seen for it. Um, and you can pick them right here. Or if you want to check out both, just pick the one you want to try, like Trebuchet, and hit just once. Um, and that way, anytime you hit the home button, it will come up and ask you which launcher you want to try again. See? So that, so we can look at the one. Let's actually look at this one really quick while we're in it. This is going to be Trebuchet Launcher. And it's it's look. So here we go. CM, uh, CM11 right here. Um, let's go ahead and check out the app drawer. You do have Apollo, Browser, DSP Manager, CM File Explorer. There's the other launcher. Actually, you can actually even launch it from there. That's very nice um, without even doing that. You do have Whisper Push, Torch, Terminal Emulator. Uh, and actually, Terminal Emulator you guys can use and you can type in, um, because this does have root access, you can type in Sue and then you can type in, hit enter, and then type in reboot recovery and hit enter and it'll reboot your recovery your device into recovery either clockwork mod recovery or torp recovery whichever you have installed that's a nice little little note to know also on uh, on devices so we're gonna go ahead and check out the other launcher and we'll go back and forth we'll say we'll say just once also here and this is going to be the other launcher obviously the wallpaper looks exactly the same there's gonna be some minor differences in these two launchers not really a ton um, and actually here you don't have an option for trebuchet launcher in in this screen whereas the other one you had a, an option for it so we're actually gonna set trebuchet launcher as always because I can always go to the other one right here if you want to launch it right there on the bottom so there you go that's pretty much what I've got 
Uh, let's go ahead and check out your notification and your toggles here. So very cool. Um, torch is built in right there. Battery, percentage, settings, all that kind of good stuff. You can click this and you can add to it. So I always like to add in Wi-Fi AP, which is basically your Wi-Fi hotspot. And that's a nice toggle to have in here. Obviously, um, Wi-Fi hotspot is going to come our, all completely enabled already. Um, you won't do any hacking to get that to work on your device. If you have an unlimited plan with Verizon, you're good to go right there with installing this ROM, which is really, really nice. Here's your notifications, pretty, pretty standard looking. Um, if you want to get into widgets, you do it like this. And you go into widgets here, and then you can go ahead and apply a widget to your screen and put another clock on there. Now there's no, no room for a clock on that screen. Hang on. Put another clock on. Go to another screen. There we go. So pretty much how you do it. Obviously this also gets you to wallpaper, some settings here, different things you guys can get into. Um, so this is going to be the main overlook here. Let's check out the lock screen really quick and see what that actually has on it. All right, so you do have your camera here, which you can pull up and then pull over and it'll open up your camera. You see what else you got here. You have unlock, messages, music, phone, and internet. And you can go right to any of those and it'll shortcut you right to them, which is pretty cool. So there's some definite neat features there. Also, let's go into settings. This is normally where all the magic happens on CM11 or any on any Sygen mod or even most custom ROMs, honestly, because in here you have these personalization settings right here, this little group of four settings. That's where all the modifications come in with Sygen mod, which makes this ROM really, really fun. And we'll go over those in a sec. Let me just show you the rest of this. The rest of this is pretty much standard. You do have SuperSue right there built in. You don't have an actual application for SuperSue. It's actually just built into the ROM. And you can click on it and it'll open up and show you a list of applications and some settings in there you can do. Um, you also have About and Inside Gen Mod. We can see here we are on 4.4.2 KitKat. And let's check out the Easter egg and see if it has, yeah, there you go, KitKat. And then you also get right here a little more Easter egg there, which is pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Let's see if I can get out of this one here really quick. There it is. And then right there. And lastly, we, what we want to do in here is about phone is if you want to have performance controls, you got to come down here to build number, tap on build number 10 times. It's going to turn on developer options and it's going to turn on performance controls. So right here's developer options, here's performance controls. Um, performance and controls has to do with overclocking your CPU um, and different governor schedulers, all that kind of stuff, and there are settings in here to set it boot and a lot of fun stuff to customize in there. Obviously, if you've seen SideJamod, this is in here. Another thing I want to point out to you guys that is really nice in developer options is right here, advanced reboot menu. And you want to check that because what that does is that adds in the feature for this. Now you can go to reboot, and then you can go reboot bootloader, reboot boot recovery. That'll get you right back into Twerp recovery, or just standard reboot. And that's a nice feature you want to enable if you're running a side mod on your device. I really like that. It, you don't have to do that terminal slash su reboot recovery. It's just it's just in there. This is actually going to reboot, so I'll come back to when it finishes. I didn't mean to do that. All right, we booted back up. That was really simple and really quick. Actually, it really boots really nicely after that first boot up. Um, so the last things I want to go through are those interface settings. Uh, you can also, which is really cool, if you do say, you know, pick Trebuchet Launcher as your home all the time, you can also, this is nice that it's built in here now, you can just click home and you can switch between your launchers right there very easily. It's nice that that's built into settings. I like that feature a lot. Normally you have to go and clear defaults and it's, it's just a pain in the butt. So that's a really nice thing. You obviously have your theme chooser and you can download themes from Google Play. All kinds of different themes on there. People have developed all kinds of cool looking stuff and you can apply them in here and it changes the whole look and feel of your device, which is really fun. Definitely check that out if you're not if you haven't checked into themes before, that's really neat. You have lock scene screen settings and that's gonna change all the stuff that was on the lock screen I showed you earlier. Um, and just you can change all kinds of goodies on there. Go through all those. Interface, this is what I like to tweak normally because I'm really picky about knowing like my battery percentage. So if you go in here you can go to show battery percentage and it shows up there in that little circle. Um, this is some of the stuff that I always always tweak around. Quick setting panel and tons of tiles and customization you can do in here. 
expanded desktop, notification drawer, button layouts, quick launch or shortcuts. I mean, there's just tons. There's tons in here. Here you can go right to Google by just holding your home button. Slide up to it and that will open up Google Now. Search. You can see that. I'm not actually on a cell, uh, Wi-Fi or cell signal right now, so it's not going to do anything. Um, but that's, yeah, that's pretty much what you got here. Tons of cool customization. CM11 is always awesome as, as it goes. Because this is KitKat, you're obviously going to get better performance for this device. It should run smoother and faster. Use less RAM, which is really exciting. There you go, guys. That's going to be my install on the Droid Razor HD CM11. Hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more on this device as we get more development on it. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie, out.